Welcome to our first day of school! They wanted to start the morning with Swedish pancakes, which are delicious, but take forever to make, especially because we love them, so we eat a million of them. Caleb is making the homemade buttermilk syrup. I love it. It is our absolute favorite syrup. He's made it once before, so he's building up his confidence. He's at the part where you have to boil it for one minute while stirring constantly. And Jeremy is mastering the Swedish pancakes. Now we've added the baking soda and the vanilla, which makes it froth up beautifully. The stack is growing. I can't hold stuff, I got a baby. I'm a pirate mama. You're a pirate mama? Uh-huh, and I got lots of phones. I can't hold them because I'm holding this, but I don't have any pajamas with pockets. You know what, that's a problem. That's an oversight in the industry. I think we need to create pajamas with pockets so that pirate mamas like you can carry their stuff without having to stuff it into their pajamas. Janae's baby is sitting by me, but we're just gonna pretend she's eating. It's not real. Someday we'll put a puppy there. Oh, you think we would put a puppy at our table? Uh-huh. Actually, puppy be on the floor. Yeah. Welcome to our first day of school! <laughs> we're gonna begin with a feast. I need mine. Yes! Yeah. For helping make it and clean up after it. That was incredible. I can do it on the Thank you. Smile. Perfect. Okay, next time when you put outside some bacon. Just the buttermilk syrup. <sighs> Looks delicious. First day of school. First day of school. Looking really cool on the first day of school. <laughs> To get Elisa's sandals off, so last time fair. we measured, I was a little bit taller, but I you're five one head. and I'm five. That's what we measured last time, but it I think you may have grown. Two, three. This year I prepped for homeschool a little differently than I have in the past. I tried to get the kids a lot more involved. This is their education and this is their opportunity this year to learn the things that they want to know. And so I sat down with each of them and asked them to design their dream year. I said, Caleb, what's your dream fourth grade year look like? And we wrote down and journaled about it. And then I tried to take those interests that he has and find books and activities and things to kind of build the curriculum out of that. The kids still have their math curriculums, which actually haven't arrived yet. They're due this week. But they've got lots of their reading and different things. But as much as I can take those interests and help them learn through those interests, the more eager the kids are to learn and the more excited I am about it too. Jeremy and I are setting up the homeschool supplies that we've been gathering. And it reminds me of how Isaac told me the other day that the first day of school was his second favorite holiday. He's like, Christmas is my favorite, then the first day of school. And I can see why. Like it does feel a little bit like Christmas and I'm glad that the kids get to get so excited about learning. They do also do some online curriculum and so that's the kind of stuff that you can't see here. What you see here is their hands-on activities and their books, the things that really can try to make it come alive. We are ready. Welcome today to pre-K! <laughs> When the kids plan the first day of school, they specifically asked that we announce them and their grade. And I laughed, I was like, I thought you guys had kind of outgrown that. And they're like, no, it's tradition. So we are going to announce each child and the grade they're entering and cheer for them as we start the homeschooling year. I'm glad my kids aren't too old for cheesy traditions. This is your stuff to learn how to be a veterinarian. You can take care of the doggy. Yeah. 
Oh, these are your alphabet cards. They're gonna help you learn the alphabet. Those are your lace and trace pets. And these are your books. And look, this is gonna help you learn all about rocks. Okay, you tell me, which one's gonna help you learn about astronauts? This one. See, it pops up. Isn't that fun? Meteors. Yes. yes. This is the one I was wanting to read. Laura helped me choose her books this year. Look, you see, these are rock signs that we're gonna learn about. They are cool. This is your activity box for your math too. Welcome, Kayla. What do you see? Ukulele songbook! Yes, we got a ukulele songbook! The kids have been playing the ukulele a lot more lately. Welcome, ladies, to the sixth grade! Yeah, this is the one you liked. Whoa. The history of fashion design. What is this? It's a game called King Domino. King Domino. <gasps> a 300 piece puzzle? Yeah, so this is about influential women, but look at the different dresses. Like, Whoa. it also shows you different time periods and eras of clothing. Okay, this is one of the ones I was super excited. What is it? Um, so it's called fabric swatches. And so it shows you different kinds of fabric. So you can feel that this feels like calico, or like this is French terry cloth. Guess what, my skirt is also French terry cloth. Oh yeah, that totally does feel like your skirt. Yeah, exactly. Wow. 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 I'll be able to draw Mexico now. Yeah, remember when you did draw the USA? Mm -hmm. So this teaches you Mexico, Central, and South America. So wow. it's your study of geography for the year. That's so cool. <gasps> the first Disney song you should play on the adventure the kids wanted to go to the trampoline park Are we gonna go get? Um, 
Shaved ice. Shaved ice? What flavors are you going to get? Um, bubble gum and cotton candy. Coconut, root beer, and cinnamon. Blue raspberry. And then a lemonade, but it's Ooh. sour lemonade. Whoa. I'm still processing. Everybody pick the most unique and fun flavors. They get sprinkles on top. Jeremy's getting a smoothie. It's delicious. Too much sugar today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's Happy first day of school. Thank you. Dude, that is a huge Oreo. We've never had, they're calling this cookie snow. I just tasted Isaac's Oreo cookie snow. That is like the best thing I've ever eaten. It's amazing and I'm gonna need to eat. It has felt so good to be back home after traveling this summer. And as we've kind of finished moving in and setting up the house, one of the things Jeremy and I have been talking and thinking about is reading nooks. Just kind of special spots where the kids can escape the general chaos of our home and snuggle up and read. And so we deliberately created a few of those spaces. Kendra also did a really cool thing. She set up an exchange with friends in our neighborhood to rotate through children's books. This is so fun watching you two work together. So Elise, can you tell us about the cooking club that you started? Oh yeah, we invited a lot of girls in the neighborhood to come to our house and bring something that they cooked and bring the recipes. So it's, I, and then we also get to taste the yeah. treat. I don't think our house is ever gonna be quiet again. Not that it was quiet to begin with, but with the steel drum and the ukulele and Isaac's guitar, there's constant music making in our house. So you also started a book club. Yep. Well, basically I choose a book for all my friends and then you read it. And then you guys are gonna meet together and chat about it? Yep. And have snacks? Yep. Janae has been taking her puppy everywhere today. She's cute and her name is Emily and she's big. Emily is your baby dog? It's our family, but I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. oh, she's so cute. You cannot hold her on, on the ear. Okay, are you be gentle with her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, is that her blankie bed? It's so sweet that Janae knows how to take care of a little puppy. That information might come in handy really soon. Good night. Get house out. You started all this 24 on the way. Belly number. You got the fourth one. Whoa! Whoa!